Okay, we're going to look at synthetic division, just doing one example. Um, again, it's another method of division, but it's only useful when the divisor is the form of x minus k. So if you look at example one, we have divide x to the fourth minus 13x squared plus 32 by x minus 3. So this is a, your divisor right here, this x minus 3. So first step is we're going to set up the division problem using only the constant from the divisor, but we're going to take the opposite. So if my divisor is x minus 3, we're going to look at the constant of my, negative 3, but we're going to take the positive version. And I'm going to start with writing that. Then I'm going to draw this long L. And then second step says write only the coefficients from the dividend include zero coefficients for any missing terms. So this part, x to the fourth minus 13x squared plus 32, that is your dividend. So we're going to get the coefficients. So the, first, the coefficient of x to the fourth is 1. Then I move to the next term. We have degree 4 to start. So the next term should be degree 3. I don't see a degree 3, so that's when we put that 0 for that missing term. Then we can do negative 13 for the x squared term. Then I should go to my x term, but again, I don't see it, so we're going to put a 0 for that missing term. And then we're going to do 32 for the end. The next step, so we did the first step, second step. Next step says bring down the leading coefficient. So I'm going to draw an arrow and write it outside of that L shape that I drew. Now we're going to multiply the coefficient by the divisor and then place it underneath the next coefficient. So 3 times 1 is going to give you 3. And then you add. So I'm going to add those two terms. So 0 plus 3 gives me 3. Then we repeat these steps until there are no more coefficients, and the numbers in the bottom row are the coefficients of your quotient at the end. So we're going to do 3 times this new 3, and that's going to get me 9. And again, I'm adding. So negative 13 plus 9 gives you that negative 4. Then I do it again. 3 times this negative 4 gives me that negative 12. We're adding, so that's going to give you negative 12. And then last, this 3 times this negative 12, that's negative 36. I add, that gives me a negative 4. Like it said right here, the numbers in the bottom row are the coefficients of your quotient. So these are my new coefficients. And so I know that this is going to be x to the third term. This is the x squared term, this is my x term, this is my constant, and then this is your remainder if you have one. And we started with x to the fourth, so I know I'm going to go down a degree to start with x to the third. So when I write my answer, I have x to the third, coefficient is a 1, plus 3x squared, minus 4x, minus 12, Remainder is negative, so minus 4 over the x minus 3 over the divisor. And then that is your final answer.